today we're doing two things. We got we're showing off two new things that we've done. Is we've created a, a 8.1 liter uh, crate motor package, and it's got our NRE dual throttle body XRAM intake on it. So this is 496 cubic inches. It's 9.8 to 1 compression. We got a really small hydraulic roller in it, um, and it's a streeter. It's a nasty streeter, which I love. But the, the nice thing about it is it's something that you get a small block footprint with better than big block torque. And what we're going to show you today is this at 496 cubic inches makes more torque than a 572 big block like what you would buy a GM Crate 572. Uh, it's making 696 peak foot pounds and it's making 600 foot pounds at 2800 RPM. So the like average torque band of this motor is so insane and the throttle response is just insane that you basically have almost 700 foot pounds, 690 horsepower, hydraulic cam, no adjust, piss pump gas. It's a bad dude. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to test the 496 LSX with a uh, you know real potent motor and a real good intake manifold, and then we're going to do a uh, backup test with the XRAM and give you guys a comparison. So you can tell it's a nasty little uh, nasty little small block. But what I want to point out is the actual throttle response. That's a big, uh, you know, and it it does it revs good. But when you compare it to the XRAM, you really see the difference. So I want to show you the rev. So it sounds good, but when you compare it, you'll really see the difference. Okay, so we're doing a start of pull here, 2800. You got 520 foot pounds at the start of the pull with a 670 foot pound peak, which is the best it's made, uh, with 635 horsepower at 5800 RPM. And your average data is 618, 520. So, you know, one hell of a strong LS. Um, you know, for this inches, you know, the horsepower is not all that strong because it's got a small hydraulic roller in it um, and a big inch motor and, you know, it's, it's starting to run out of air with the, with this intake manifold. Uh, well, in general, just because it has a small cam, but so there's your, there's your horsepower number 520 at the start of the pull, 670 peak, 635 horsepower peak. Here's another pull, 513 foot-pounds at 2,800, 669 foot-pounds, 1669, a little more horsepower, 635 a little earlier at 5,300, 630 down by 6,000 with an average power number 615, horsepower 517. And we're looking at the average here just to kind of give you a view, we'll go into graphs later, but uh, there's a good, you know, little 
shot of what we got going on right there. So 669 and 637. So here is the test with the XRAM, and you can see this is at 2800, just the massive torque difference. You know, 608 foot pounds already at 2900, 692 peak foot pounds on this pull, which we've been as high as 695, 689 horsepower, and still hanging on pretty tough at 6000. So. But what, what really needs to be shown here is the average data of 657 and 551. I just want to show you some of the bitchin' features. We've got twin 90 millimeter throttle bodies going through the new NRE XRAM. It's got a tall deck GM block. We've done custom camshaft, custom lifters, four and a half inch stroke crank. Uh, 4 185 bore, but it all stock LS mounts, stock bell housing, stock drive unit. You can literally bolt this in your car and have big block power with an LS footprint, but actually better than big block power. And as you'll see when you listen to the video, it's just nasty. As one of my guys here, Dave, said, it sounds like it's you're sitting in the pits listening to a pro stock, but it's not. It's running on piss and it's a street car. Okay, so what, what I've done here is uh, I've overlaid the two dyno poles on top of each other. So this is the uh, best pole with uh, and then uh, one of the better poles with the uh, XRAM. And so you can see right here, this is at 3200 RPM. Now right here, this is where the is and you can see this ginormous torque bubble area where just how much torque this thing is making I mean this entire curve it narrows up a little bit and then gets bigger and stays ahead the entire time never in the power band is it less but the low speed is just so huge I mean 80 to 90 numbers better uh, on an intake swap no other changes so um, and then as you can see on the top here the green is the horsepower and it's you know consistently ahead all the way you know and this is almost 50 numbers uh, better in the end there so uh, it's an interesting way to another way to look at it here